Okay, so in our previous exercise, we declared a function uh, for the first time, and we established what parameters are, what the name of the function needs to be, that the functions need to return something all the time. Now, we're going to talk about a different way of declaring a function that it's not like the traditional one uh, that we have seen. It's more, it's called an anonymous function because it doesn't have a name. So basically, it's the same that we've seen like this, like a function, but we are used to having a name after the word function like this, multi. But you could have no name. So those are functions that in order to be used, they have to be stored in a variable or they have to be passed in a variable to another function. Like they cannot be used on its own. They have to be stored somewhere before you can use them. So the traditional way or the easiest way to declare a, uh, an anonymous function will be to declare a variable that you can call if you want the same way that you will you were going to call your function. So if that this function was going to be called multi like here, I can just remove multi from there and I can declare a variable and store my entire function anonymous in a variable called multi. And after doing that, then I can just use it the same way that I have, I have been using functions, like the same way you use non anonymous functions. So for example, if I do right now console log, console.log of multi and I pass like that to there and I pass three comma three wait my computer is lagging right now okay yeah if I pass three comma three then you'll see that it's gonna console.log six here you see uh, actually nine my bad I'm uh, really bad at multiplying so this exercise is telling us to print on the console the result of using the function multi to calculate the multiplication between these two numbers. So instead of three and three, I'm just gonna use three, um, I don't know, that number and 47. Let's see if we test it, we're console logging it. Did you call the function multi with two parameters? Oh yeah, it's because I changed the name of the function. Originally it was called multi with a Y, so don't do that, don't change it like me. So that was my problem. The, the function need to be called multi with a Y. Let's see now. And oh, now it's working. Right, now, right before it was working as well, but with multi with an i not with a y so it was not what the exercise was expecting from us and maybe another what i can add to this exercise is that the the cool thing about anonymous functions is that they no, don't necessarily have to be called you know i could have this function without a name as well but if i don't put a name to it i will not be able to reuse it i will only be able to use it once because you can put it also in a parenthesis like math. You know that in math, when you put something into a parenthesis, you're basically like grouping it. So if I paste my function here inside that parenthesis, it's like my entire function is now being grouped between those parentheses. So I can treat that now as a function that I can call and I can go ahead and call it like this parenthesis parenthesis. You know that the same way that you will call a function, I'm calling this entire function that has no name, I'm calling it with a parenthesis like this. So if I do this and I paste it here in the console.log, you'll see that it will print. For right now it's printing not a number because I forgot to pass the two numbers, right? So let me pass two numbers here. So eight and nine. And then if I test it, you'll see that it's printing 72. That's basically the multiplication of both. So that's the cool thing right now, right? I have a I have a function that has no name and I'm using it right away. Like I declare it and I use it right away. So that's another thing, cool thing about anonymous functions. Um, and I think that's it. Like that's, you can also pass it like a variable. We can see that in future exercises, but so, so far, I think just by knowing that functions may or may not have a name, it's, it's what I wanted to get from this exercise.